Good afternoon gamers and welcome back to the second episode of Mass Effect 1. The last time we left off we got some uh we we got some uh, what do you call it? Uh we got we got a vision or so from the Prothean Beacon. I'm trying not to say too much because of spoilers and what have you. But uh now that we're back, we're gonna go ahead and speak with Ashley and we're gonna we're gonna ahead, actually not just Ashley, but we're gonna go ahead and speak with the entire crew that we currently have. I think for when we start off episodes and such, I'll go ahead and run through the run of the mill stuff, you know, talk to everybody I can. Um Talk to everybody I can, then we'll get into a mission, do a mission or two, maybe, boo, who knows, uh, and then we'll go ahead and end the video off, but for for now, let's go ahead and get right back into the, uh, thick of things, yeah, there we go, alright, that's the wrong direction, this, I believe, is actually, yeah, this is just another, um, Another, ex it's an extension of the med bay. We'll normally find Dr. Chakwa's in here, but, uh, she's currently, um, Busy. Here's my boy, Caden. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you, too. Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. It doesn't seem right somehow. But at least you stopped Saren from wiping out the whole colony. I couldn't have done it without you. We're Marines. We stick together. And I'm just sorry that we lost Jenkins. Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. Thank you, Kate. And I it's appreciate that. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one specter killing another. The Citadel Council's not going to be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. This man is... Yeah, good with politics. Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're not restricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get a paycheck for it. Besides, my father served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? It is actually. I explained this I last was a episode. Navy brat. I got a little more noteworthy than the folks expected. Oh, that's right. A coos. I imagine that bought you any post in the fleet. <laughs> and a whole Marty's lot of guilt. For the Citadel, ma'am. Can you uh, tell me why? Sure, okay, not sure. The captain hopes the ambassador can get an audience with the council. Tell them what Saren's been up to. Makes sense. They'd probably like to know he's not working for them anymore. Whatever happens, we'll be ready, Commander. Thank you, Caden. I appreciate that. Love, Caden. Love, Caden. Hey there, Doc. What's up, Mr. Yes, there? Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse, and the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth, or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. I feel you. Uh, I feel you, Doctor. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Go. Goodbye, Commander. I'm gonna leave our conversation here for right now, Doc, because you don't get too many, uh, too many other new things since the, uh, new, too many other new. Uh, how do you say? Uh, dialogue options later on in the game you really only have those three so i'll leave the, some of those for later i'm glad you're okay commander the crew could use some good news after what happened to It'd jenkins definitely be missed jenkins was a valuable part of this crew part of me feels guilty over what happened if jenkins was still alive i might not be here you're a good soldier williams you belong on the normandy thanks commander i appreciate that things were pretty rough down there are you okay I've seen friends die before. Comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't have shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, yeah. Commander. Um, I... 
Jennifer Hale, the actress for uh, Shepard, um, I like the way she says Williams. I don't. That's, that's just me, though. Go speak to Joker when you're ready. Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. Sure thing, Captain. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and head upstairs and such. Um, I'm not really sure what to say. That is probably gonna be one of the bigger problems I have when uh, recording uh, not videos that aren't ex ex uh, explicit explicitly live i'm tw uh, stepping all over my tongue today um yeah so i guess i can give you guys a bit of a rundown and here is where is like where the uh, crew will have all their meetings and such uh, i can get a good look at it let's just do a little some zoom action look at that boom boom look at that uh you'll also be speaking with people over the intercom here and such uh things like that um Let's go ahead and speak with Joker, because I can't access the world map uh, from here. Anyway, uh, I don't know what, I, what I'll end up rambling about, something or another. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Yeah, let's see what the taxpayer money uh, afforded us with the Citadel. I don't I actually have no idea what he's talking about, because the Citadel has been here since... Well, a very long time. But I guess he might mean upkeep and repairs with the uh, the little dudes, the keepers, that do a lot of that. Look at that. Did a phenomenal job on that. Look at the size of that ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. <laughs> Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Thank you, Joker. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. You know, it probably would have been... Very tragic if we didn't end up allying with the Asari Veterans. So on and so forth. This is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. Very nice. But yeah, um, if you're enjoying this so far for one reason or another, I do highly recommend investing in the game yourself. Make some choices differently than I make them or, or will, than I've made them or will make them. Yeah, so that's. We now find ourselves on the Citadel. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Kind of nonsense. Was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. I do not like Sounds the like dinner. I never the really have. Give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectre. Is that all I am to a you? Mission on Eden a Prime was a chance to prove uh, that we get the job done. Instead, on. Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. And that's, that's my fault. That's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. I can certainly try. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Very nice. On my first playthrough of Mass Effect, I was, uh, was kind of on the fence about Udina. Like, he seems to have a stressful job, you know, but, like, 
There's no excuse for treating everybody like God. Okay, let's see what this is. Alliance Patrol Report. Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argos Row uh, Cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before the team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send in a recon team? That was just the report, and I imagine if we go to our journal, you can see, look at this. It's telling us to go uh, investigate that, all that good stuff. Um, see, now I'm on the fence about whether I should give you guys a tour of the Citadel proper, or if I should cut all this out. I'll probably... I'll probably just speak with these three, do a little bit of, do a cut, and then do a cut to the next important part. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong, and it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised His my eyes are inky black voids. Look at that. Where can I find this Asari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. And a good day to you too, Zelton. I suppose to speak with Kaelin. Please greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kaelin. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly. We discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kaelin? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that. And if you do, I am very sorry for you. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. <laughs> I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly, Within one lifetime, we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Honestly, our that's true. society fair. is built on small, tight-knit groups, though we are always welcoming to outsiders. Our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the L4 yeah. groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere yeah. Well. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. I'll be speaking to NPCs like this on camera so you guys can, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the world, it's world building, it's lore, etc., the alien species, uh, so that you guys can get at least some fundamental understanding of them, you know? 
Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Din. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? What is this place? Oh, a body is You are in the embassy for the Volus Sorry. and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus, when I'm not being interrupted. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Most certainly Actually, I would, would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. And you don't have a... However, yeah, despite so... our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. That's very strange. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. Fair enough. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task, considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Chastising rebuke, Din. The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the I Council said. long before our species will. Why aren't the Elcor or Volus part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah! This talk is wasted on the humans. You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <sighs> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. And again, I see his point, like why he's so upset. Like, it, he said that his his people became a part of the um, like everything when like just after the Asari and Salarians discovered it, which I imagine would be hundreds of years before this. Um, it's just that that yeah I, I feel bad for them i don't I, and they were instrumental like you said instrumental in formulating a, gal a standard galactic economy why they would keep them off the council is beyond me maybe they don't want them the people in charge of the money to also be making major galactic change because if they may if they're making major galactic change then they can uh satisfied satisfy their needs in such a way that uh the economy is in favor of their people i i don't know i couldn't really this isn't my kind of thing you know i'm not the politician even though i do sp ramble on about politics from time to time strange wish there were more humans around understandable diplomat so humanity in general is very new to the galactic stage um i'm just gonna go around and speak to every, everybody i can i don't uh, have time to talk now i'm very busy Okay, Miss Dantius, I'll speak to you later. Don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. 
Of course she would. She'd be tossed out the nearest airlock if she did. Uh, I suppose. Besides, Nick, the consort's nothing like the girls back on the colonies. <laughs> she's... she's... You don't have to do it with her. You can just talk to her if you want. Is that all you did, Jazz? Just talk? I didn't say that. Ha! <laughs> I bet you did too. Shut up, Fredericks. <laughs> what do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... things. You never went to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh... No, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just Jeez to Louise. go in and talk to her. That's fine, Private. Just tell me where to find her. Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. Very nice. I'll speak with the bartender, and then I'll see you guys at uh, the, uh, the consort's place. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? You know who I am? Your arrival uh, created a bigger-than-average stir among the diplomats and hangers-on around here. There's always something new happening around here. I could fill you in on some points of interest if you'd like. Yeah, What's going on around too. here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I'd try Flux or Cora's Den. What is Shaira's? I'm just getting as much information consort, as I can. Uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. Most of the diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. She's a very powerful woman, but also very respected. Tell me about Flux and Cora's Den. Well, Flux has gambling and dancing, certainly more lively than this place. Cora's Den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier all at the same time. Goodbye. Thank you, my man. And just like uh, so Mag said man. goodbye to him, I'll be saying goodbye to you guys for just a moment. I'll see you in about three, two, one. Okay, welcome back, to, uh, guys. I guess for you, it hadn't been too long for me. Not e not really either. I'm just in the offices of the consort. I haven't spoken with anyone just yet. Hello, Nailena. Welcome. I am Nailena. Nailena. Don't Sorry. Don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in... Um, three or four months. Good Lord. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? What do you do here, Nalina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Mm. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with her. Oh. 
Much yes, cooler. of course, mistress. What is this camera angle? Get this nonsense out of my video. Stop it. Stop. No. Huh. Thank you. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. What does she want to see me for? I don't know. You'll have to ask her yourself. I just am just upstairs. She'll a be person for you. at this point in the story. I mean, I did a lot of it apparently on Elysium. Uh, one thing I wanted to say before I went to go meet the uh, Shaira is her name. Um, I, I'm role playing that my shepherd or Mags here hasn't really met that many uh, aliens uh, before coming to the city. Before coming to the citadel, uh, of course she fought. Um, she she knows of the species, but she didn't really do our due diligence in researching them. And she definitely helped fight against Batarians on Elysium. But other than that, um, she's re she's relatively new to the galactic stage. And because of that, I'm going to treat her with a childlike innocence, you know. She has no real prejudice against any of them, except for individuals, of course, like Saren and his dastardly geth. Ooh. But other than that, she's just going, she's going to treat everybody with as much respect and reverence as she can. That is close enough, Command. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. I don't like people spying on me. I apologize, Commander. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. You have no eyebrows. Many of them become clients. But that is not why I asked you here. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I will Please be stop very touching grateful. me. I do not know you like that, ma'am. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. I would have gladly helped you without you touching all over me. All right, guys, I'll see you guys in just a moment. I'm going to go ahead and skip to uh, the next important story beat, mostly because I can't really do too much about the uh, consort there and her dilemma until a little bit later in the story. Uh, it'll be like you guys never left. All right, guys, we are back. Uh, we are currently in the Citadel Towers, as we were instructed to come up here. Uh, come to, and up here is, well, you'll see. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a Good instincts. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. This right here is my man Garrus. He is a very popular fan favorite. Um... Sorry to break any hearts for anybody that got excited when I chose uh, the female shepherd, but I will not be romancing Garrus Vicarian on this playthrough. I have not done his romance as of yet, but I will most certainly still not be doing it on stream. Don't be ridiculous. The Volus won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. The humans are making a strong push, and you can bet the Volus will be right on their coattails if they succeed. Allowing the humans to join us is a sound strategic move. But the Volus? No. The Hanar are likely to be next, then the Elcor. You may be right. Though the Hanar need to lighten up a bit first. You just don't like them because you have trouble understanding them. 
So this guy, as you can tell, is a Tarian, and this guy right here is what Solarians look like. You can't really get a good look at his face, but you'll see. You'll, you'll be seeing more of them as the series progresses. Hey, there he is, Captain Anderson. I'm on the way, homie. The hearing's already started. Come on. Sorry, I took so long. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in Indeed. cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized You didn't talk to him, though. ...is hardly compelling proof. He was firing. I resent these accusations. Do y'all not see the cybernetics on this man's on that this man's face? Catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false That's charges. Some nonsense. Me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard, the one who let the beacon get destroyed. You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson, he's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. I that is not Your what I said. Needs to learn its place. <laughs> is that what I chose to say? You're not ready to join the council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. That is no not right to, right say, to that. say that. That's Sorry. not his decision. Got the Shepherd's lens admission missed, into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. Justice this, justice that. Get that this meeting is adjourned. Whatever you say, Councillor Tabos. To succeed, we must first fail. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. Gladly. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. <laughs> I won't waste my time with that, Luther. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren. But his information won't come cheap. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. 
Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics, doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone, not directly. He's just a resource we can use, or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Hmm. Tell me about Bar Levon. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. Ah, it's one of these people. He's got people. an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. Again, with people of playing politics. Out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, but it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the council. He's just frustrated. The council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community, but for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skilling exactly. and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Exactly. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the council. The ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Maybe they'd let us join the council if we were more willing to cooperate with the other species. Of course they would. If we did everything they told us to, they'd love to have us on the council. But it wouldn't be much of a deal for us. That's fair. I understand their side. They don't want us dominating the council. It's founded on cooperation and alliances. But we have to look out for our own interests, too. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. They sound like shadow operatives. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are. The latest Alliance estimate puts their numbers under a hundred. But the Council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents. The last line of defense. The final option before open war. It sounds like propaganda. The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a Spectre shows up, you know something big is about to happen. How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done. Like you. They've been watching you for years. It's kind of creepy. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation. But with him gone, things are still up in the air. What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each Spectre answers directly to the Council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The Council just turns a blind eye. Spectres have a lot of power, Shepard. What happens when a Spectre goes rogue, like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The Council is careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another Spectre to bring the rogue agent down. Just like Jenkins was talking go. about. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. I'll probably be coming by to talk to you about uh, your history with Saren later. Or I'll talk to you at another junction about it. Um, I want to clarify for everybody watching that the Council is not like the galactic government. Uh, it's kind of like how in Star Wars they have the Senate and each planet is recommended, not recommended, is represented by the, uh, by a senator or senators, depending, like how Naboo had Padme as well as, uh, uh, Jar Jar Binks representing his people, the Gungans. Um, but in this universe, the council is, is kind of just like a smaller version of that, whereas each species has their own like official government. Um, and I imagine that like instead of having local governments, they have like planetary governments and such. Um, 
But yeah, they're just an alliance between. What guy? The one over by the keeper. Yeah, I, I think I got that point across. What? Oh no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the Keepers. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh, yeah. I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I'm going. So long. See you later, man. That quest is a whole lot of fetch questy nonsense. I want nothing to, put to be... I, I don't want any part of it. <laughs> um... Like, you see each of these keep... Actually, there's one right here. You see each of the keepers, right? You have to go find all of them on the Citadel to do it. I've gotten close to finishing that mission, but I've never, like, actually actively finished it. Um, and I've only ever tried to on my first playthrough. All right, gamers, I'll see you guys in just a moment because I have quite a ways to walk before I can get to the next important little bit of information. Ciao. All right, gamers, we have made our way over to Bar Levan. As you can see, I have changed my outfit as well as Caden's, and if you've been paying attention to my guns, I will certainly have changed some of those out as well, uh, and I leveled up. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. The tale of how you survived the great tragedy on Akuz is truly remarkable. I am amazed each time I hear it. You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barlavan. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. I heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. I hear your information can be expensive. Normally, this information would cost a small fortune. But these are exceptional circumstances. So I am going to give it to you for free. No, I like free. What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. Saren's turned on a lot of people lately. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. How do I find him? I heard he was paying Citadel Security a visit. If you hurry, you can probably catch him before he leaves the CSEC Academy. Thanks for the info. My pleasure, Commander. Very nice. I... Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll see you guys there. Ciao. I've told you before, you're not allowed in here. This one believes it has the right to move freely through this area. You're creating a public disturbance. It's against Citadel regulations. This one is unsure why the other would not wish word of the Enkindlers to be spread. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? What's going on here? 
The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the enkindlers. If that's all the CSEC officer wants, why not just buy the permit? The truth of the enkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. It's not suppression if he's... Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. So you're breaking the law by preaching without a permit right now? The CSEC officer states that preaching in this place is forbidden, and no. preaching anywhere on the citadel requires a permit. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the enkindlers, Homie, and thus do what he no permit you. should be necessary. Who are the enkindlers? Your people know them as the Protheans. They are the true creators of this one's people. The Enkindlers raised the Hanar from ignorance into consciousness by granting this one's people the gift of speech. Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. Yeah, this he's one not would be most grateful for the assistance. Encroaching Please upon your this one know if success is achieved. Religious freedom. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Are there laws being broken here? You already not know this. Unreasonable. The Hanar is yeah. free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? It's going no. Through all the Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly off. Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? Hmm. Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Is this how the Enkindlers would want you to use this gift of consciousness? The Enkindlers would wish for their message to be spread to all sentient races. If the Protheans had wanted you to force your message on the unwilling, they'd have said so. This one hears wisdom. Perhaps enthusiasm has clouded judgment in this matter. This one departs now, and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. Yeah, basically just, he will, I don't think this officer is encroaching on their religious freedom by simply, like, telling them that you can't preach here if there are places for it, there are places for it. Thank you. Happy to help. Here. For your assistance in this matter. Ooh, money. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Yeah, you have fun doing that. All right, now I'll see you guys at the next year. the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Fake place. That your professional opinion, sir? This isn't a station, it's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but 
This is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? The council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. They probably just want to keep everything running. It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Or maybe they just don't like humans. Why not? We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. According to the old vids, we have everything they want. When you put it that way, there's no reason I wouldn't like you. I mean, us. Humans, ma'am. You don't take much shore leave, do you, LT? All right, laugh it up, Chief. I appreciate the thought, Alenka, but we're on duty here. Uh, aye, aye, ma'am. I'll walk drag, ma'am. Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. All right, I think we've managed to find ourselves a Krogan. What's up, big man? Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. <laughs> Go on. Get out of here. Yes, human. I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barlavon said to talk to you. Barlavon is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. Please stop calling me. Enlighten me. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den, a man named Fist. He did something very foolish. What'd he do? He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A Quarian showed up here on the Citadel. She was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. Fist's not too smart. He's just greedy. Saren paid him a small fortune for the Quarian. He had to. She has evidence connecting him to the Geth. Hmm. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. And the Council will have to listen to us. Where's the Quarian now? Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. I want to know more about your employer. Can't tell you much. All I got was a coded message with the details of the job. Standard procedure. And you what know about that Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down too. He might come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. Move hmm. out. All right, we're gonna take uh, Caden. No, no, Caden and Rex, or not Rex. Um, yeah, I think maybe I've done too many cunts at this point. But uh, now nah, there's an elevator ride. I'll see you guys in a few okay. brief moments when I catch up with Garrus. I'm surprised you're willing to fight Krogan, Rex. I thought you'd stand with your own. Anyone who fights us is either stupid or on Saren's payroll. Killing the latter is business. Killing the former is a favor to the universe. And we find ourselves here, and if I'm not mistaken, Dr. Michelle's office is this way. Unless this is it, right? No, that's not it there mm -hmm. oh yeah hold on what's up i'm emily wong i'm an investigative journalist working here on the citadel could i have a moment of your time what do you need i've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the citadel but there are places i can't go i was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation i can make it worth your time how do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need you wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big and if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. You gotta have access to better sources. Why contact me? 
I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. According to your file, you survived back on Akuz when everyone else in your squad got killed. Yeah. If anyone can find the worst elements of the Citadel and live to tell about it, it's you. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. No promises, but if I find anything relating to your case, I'll inform you. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. I really hope I don't, Miss Wong. I really hope I don't. All right, now I've got to look for uh, Dr. Mich oh, that's why I got it confused. There's, an, there's a whole other hallway back here. Whoopsie daisy, oh. Yeah, see, look right there, Mick Clinic door. All right, now we're good. Now we can get our boy Rex. Rex is right here. I meant to say Garrus. Saving content. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Ah, we excellent shot, Garrus. Excellent shot. I smell trouble. Get down. So everybody, nope. I missed completely. Okay, now I think it was everybody. Okay. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Glad I could help. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. I know those men threatened you, but if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. The one I told you about, Shepard. Mm -hmm. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Welcome aboard, Garrus. Fist is going to be waiting for us. When we hit him, we better hit him hard. Okay, these two, because they really want to take out Fist. I never Talk. properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. Me too. Now, is there anything you needed? You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. Very I'll nice be going time. now. Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking to you. All right, guys, I think this is where we're going to leave the uh, second episode of Mass Effect, the one off on. Uh, I'd like to thank you for joining me, and I will most certainly be seeing you in the next episode. Hope you all are looking forward to getting to know some of our alien uh, compadres. Ciao.